How you doing guys? This video is actually coming at the request of Andrew from Combat Art Training. Um, I told him about experience that I had and he said that you should make a video about this. Um, so I am doing it because he thinks that I should make a video about this. Um, I don't think it's bad information to put out there. Um, I think it's a good thing to put your perspective and your experiences out there so other people don't have to suffer the same ones. So coming up guys, just my opinion on XD handguns in general. Coming right at you. So when I first started down this path, um, well, physically down the path, uh, was back in 2012. Um, where we lived at the time was kind of isolated even though we were in a small town. And we had an experience with a drifter that was, had come through and a very slow response time from the police. Which by the way, if you think your police are going to respond quickly to you, find out what the average response time for your town is. Average is 15 minutes. Lock yourself in your house and then put a timer and you tell me what individual wouldn't be able to get in there if you really wanted to in 15 minutes, no matter how secure your home is. So just throwing that out there. But anyway, so it freaked me out a little bit. Um, so I asked the wife, I said, listen, you know, I think I want to get a gun for self-defense. And my first purchase was a shotgun. Don't regret that purchase at all. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to carry a gun. Uh, I did a lot of research and I was definitely one of these guys that like read all the reviews uh, you know I instead of asking people who know what they're talking about what their suggestion would be I decided what I needed to do was go online and look at reviews I had an irrational hatred of Glock because of some things that my father had kind of put in my head. So my first carry gun was a 40 Smith & Wesson XD. Probably the worst combination of choices you could pick. Um, but I did the research and they were a little cheaper than Glock and they had good reviews. So I figured that's the gun I'm gonna get. So carried my Glock for about a year or so shot it occasionally but didn't really shoot it wasn't really trying to train um, I was definitely the guy that oh I have a gun so I'm safe now uh, I realized my mistakes um, I found Jaeger through his videos and kind of started going down a little bit of a different path with things um, so I started training the minute I started training that gun started breaking on me the minute I started training the minute I started actually shooting that gun it gave me issue after issue after issue. It was sent back to the factory at one point. Um, they said they needed to change a few pieces out, gave them the benefit of the doubt. They did their changes, came back, again, was fine until I started shooting it. Um, very quickly I realized that I was not willing to risk or bet the life of myself or the people I love on a gun that I couldn't trust. So I decided that I was going to look at another option. Everyone was telling me from the beginning, get a Glock 19, get a Glock 19, get a Glock 19. I needed to be different at first. So once again, instead of listening to everyone telling me just get a Glock 19, I started doing research. The difference was this time I did a little more educate. I was more educated about my research. Um, I started listening to people that had been doing this for a long time. And I walked into a gun shop and the guy had a Glock 19 Gen 3 on you know, for sale, used gun, and he gave me a straight trade up for my XD, and my XD was gone. So, I know there's people that have XDs that have had nothing but good luck with them. I haven't met them. None of the ones that, that have trained have had any luck with them. Um, and maybe each one's different, but in my mind's eye, it was a gun I could not trust my life with. And I spent $100 less and got something I couldn't trust my life to, which was a stupid decision on my part. And maybe it was part of it because it was a 40, maybe not, who knows. Um, but any, any 
trust I had in that firearm and that brand went out the window immediately, especially when it went back to their service department and came back with the same issues. Not to mention the fact that accessories on, on whole were more expensive. Magazines were twice the cost of what the Glock magazines were. Um, it just, there, there was no, there's no upside to it. So my opinion is XD suck. And maybe they're fine if you don't shoot them. Maybe they're fine to bring to the range and plink around with. But everyone I know that has really started training with that gun, with that brand, has had nothing but issues. And all it takes is one time for that draw out of your holster for it not to work. And that could be your life. I have to know that what I'm pulling out to use every single time works. That's There's no compromise there. And I don't think it should be compromised for you either, or anyone you love or anyone you know. So my opinion is, XDs suck. I would not have one to save my life with. And the things that the company itself has done have not really ingrained them in any good light to anyone that I know, including myself. So that's just my opinion, my experiences with it. You should find out for yourself because you should find out your own experiences and be informed by your own experiences. But don't do what I did and try and look for that that special case or try and, you know, out research the common sense that's being thrown at you. So that's it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the holidays are treating you well. Um, Andrew, there you go, man. There's your video that you wanted to see me make. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're saying fuck yeah a lot during it. And that's really it, guys. Um, so get out there. Train. Train with what you carry. How do you know it's going to be there for you if you don't? Put it to the test. Put yourself to the test. Fail. Learn from the failure. Get better. That's it, guys. So as always, your path is out there. Go find it. <laughs>